Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program, Rise of the Dark Fog, where today we're going to be starting a new game in which we conquer the galaxy and try and build ourselves a full-on Dyson Sphere. So, we kind of dipped our toes in this update already, but now I want to do a full-on playthrough. So resources, 8x. Map seed is going to be something kind of specific. This one, which has a starting in the Kappa Velorum star system. And also, we're going to be increasing the difficulty, oh, just a little bit. I will make the initial level of our enemies, level 4, will have their initial occupation maxed out, their density over two and a half times, and they'll get a little bit more scary, a little bit faster. Because you can't have glorious combat unless you're fighting a worthy opponent. And hopefully, that should suffice. And so, let us begin. And since we already covered the Dark Fog stuff a little bit, we're gonna do a bit of a recap here, where we are trying to build a Dyson Sphere program. However, the old system was this, the Dark Fog, which was not as efficient as the Dyson Sphere program. But the AI has gone rogue, and we have to fight it for all the universe's resources. Which means there will be epic space combat, planetary invasions, doomsday weapons, and more as we spread across the solar system, collecting all the resources we can find. And here we are in our Kappa Velorum system. That's our new battery, <laughs> soon to be anyway. And all those stars you see in the sky, those are all solar systems in which we can invade and take over to exploit for all the resources. But no, we are gonna be landing on that small blue dot right over there next to the gas giant. But my primary concern is how intense the enemies are going to be. It already looks like there's two dark fog towers occupying our world. So it seems the war will begin pretty quick. Speaking of, we're gonna kind of fly through the early stages of the game, try and get all the turrets and weapons we can, and take out those towers as soon as possible. In case you missed the first episode a few weeks ago, here's a quick rundown of the game. You land on a planet, you steal all of its resources, then you fly into the greater galaxy, from system to system, star to star, collecting even more resources and setting up interstellar logistics networks. But of course, we are not alone this time. And it seems, oh gosh, there are two dark fog bases in our starter system? Huh, I've never actually seen this before. But usually our starting planet is closer to our star, but we are on the outskirts of the solar system, putting us closer to the dark fog. Which means, if our planet gets invaded, we have practically no time before enemy fleets arrive. Alright, a little horrifying. The towers are a little spooky too. They start off at level 4. That doesn't look too bad yet. And again, enemies are still spawning. Anyway, more about the game. Uh, we have a mech, it requires power, we can have different ammo types, and we can have a mini fleet that follows us around into battle. Also, this is a factory game, so you collect resources like iron, copper, oil, and more. And the tech gets pretty intense. You go from burning like coal all the way up to, I don't know, quantum printing, Dirac inversion mechanisms, making particle colliders, and yeah, a lot of crazy stuff like that. And the weapons get as crazy. Like way at the end of the line here, we can build interstellar destroyers, uh, plasma turrets, gravity missiles, and a whole lot more. Plus there's like a quadrillion upgrades to go through as well. But for us, we have one goal. We're gonna get mining as soon as we can, then smelting, then we're gonna get basic logistics with belts and these little sorters, which grab items off of belts, then off to basic assembling, so that we can get science, or energy matrices, as they are in this game. And once we have the science cubes and all that jazz, we can move down and get weapon systems to actually defend ourselves. Because once we increase our automation and our power systems, the planetary base's threat level increases. And once that hits 100%, we get attacked. It seems even our mere presence is ticking them off. Well, guess what? The feeling's mutual, punks. No, we gotta research and build stuff real quick here. It's a race against time to get turrets so we can defend ourselves. 
because I have no idea how powerful these first attacks are going to be. But we're teching fast, already got logistics, and automation is soon to follow. And a quick thing about the automation, you have normal belts where items can go across belts and whatnot, but you use sorters in order to get things from machine to machine. So we'd have a sorter there that grabs the iron, goes into this machine, and we can make like gears or something. And the cool thing about that is when an item needs multiple inputs, you can have like a variety of belts next to it, you can have machines kind of pass over other belts to a certain degree. So you have to be a little creative with stuff. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely horrifying can already see the dark fog hive just from where we're at. Yeah, those things, they are passing way too close to our base. Wait a second, what's that? Oh my gosh, wait. They're extracting resources from our planet and taking them to the hives. No, wait, no, oh my gosh. They're taking resources from everything already. They have interstellar fleets on the move. Uh-oh. Well, guess what, look what I have. A tiny little starter base with smelters and storage and automation, oh my! Oh, but the dark fog doesn't like that, and it looks like we're not getting the science for the first attack. Fantastic. I don't know. Uh, we need another science thing now. No, it doesn't even matter. We have to craft ammo and all that stuff. Ah! Wait, it's three units? Oh, we can handle three units. But the next attack is gonna happen, like, in two seconds as well. Okay. Then let's just put that there, please. No power, no problem, except it totally is a problem, and we totally have no power. More wind turbines. All right, that's enough. Uh, the attack's gonna come from somewhere. Where? Hello? Ah, from the south. Okay. Uh, let's set the research then to get the matrixes and get us our weapons, and then we blap. Okay, thank goodness. It doesn't look like their health has increased all too much, so that's not bad. And there's still one more unit. This is how they always work. They always send the first couple units towards you, and then the other one is sneaky. Or maybe it's just lazy, I don't know. Like, is it anywhere? Like, it, it's been forever now. Or maybe it's waiting for the next attack? Oh no, it's just went the long way around? Weird. And going after my iron? I don't think do. Goodbye. Now we're about to get hit with the next assault. That's kind of the scary thing here. It's like, sure, one attack's fine, but then immediately after the next assault comes in. But it looks like... We're gonna have weapon systems. All right, we can throw copper at them very quickly. We'll make ammunition, gets put in this box. We get one turret just to start with. We don't, thanks game. We will build our own turrets just to start with. And, oh, nope, they're already here. Hello, everybody. Leave me alone. Please, I'm too weak. Eh, egad. We did it, we handled two whole units. But moving forward here, we now have a Torito. And it will have all the ammo it'll ever need. So that'll make life a lot easier for us. Except not a little annoying. All right, turret. Are you not in range? My brother. Oh, no, it is. Good. Okay, now that we have turrets, we can handle a lot of different threats. So we're gonna really speed things up here. So super quick reorganization and expansion of the starter base. And then so we can begin the next assaults here. Got up to coal power, like we did in the first video. And I just automated a little bit of steel. And with all of that at our disposal, we could organize the belts and make our first little beginner bus. So all the items kind of go on both sides of these assemblers. The sorters grab whatever the heck they need. Then off they send all of our factory essentials, like 50 turrets or mining machines, more sorters, more belts, more assemblers, more everything. Which means war be approaching. It's time to take out the planet's dark fog towers. And so, we have a little fire base by this copper node. It makes us a little bit of ammunition. The ammunition is then brought forward to where we're at. And we're gonna do what we did before and have our turrets creep into the enemy base. But wait, almost screwed up really, 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 really bad. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more missiles. So that's gonna be important. Thank you. A lot more turrets as well. That'd be great. And belts out the Huazoo to act as distractions for the enemies. Oh yes, and fuel. Yeah, our mech needs to be at max power because the blue bar is our shield and then underneath that is our health, a green bar. And our green bar health goes down in like one or two shots. So we have to be really, really careful. Well, that's okay. I think we have enough weapons to get this. It's just attacking, not this first tower, but the second tower. Second tower is kind of on its own little island here, surrounded by water. 
So we're gonna have to bridge over probably to here and then start weakening this so we can move forward on it a little bit quicker. It's a really good idea actually before everything kicks off. So let's build <laughs> right on their doorstep, I suppose. They won't see that belt, right? Nah, no way. Oh God, wait, they saw it. No, 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 no. It was actually me. My drones went out and attacked. All right, that's kind of fine. Just can fire a couple missiles here. Back off. And we have a backup defense, right? Wait a second, wait a second. We can build more defenses. Stuff, get out, from, out of my way. Uh, there we go. Dang it. Stupid drones. Uh, let's turn them off this time and try that again. Okay, now we're at a better angle of attack. So we can build missile turrets over here and that should be able to attack both towers at once. And these enemies should ignore our supply line here and go for the turrets that's damaging them. At least that's the hope. So all the missiles are loaded into a box, the box unloads onto the belt, and we unload our turrets onto Zed Belt. So this can be like kind of a backup position, and then we can have our little turrets out in front to defend us. Now, probably be best to lead the enemies to us. So if we had this attack the upper air stuff, then that's probably gonna piss them off and drag them over. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's let her rip, bud. Let's get it over with, rip the band-aid off, and get that tower destroyed as soon as we can. And move in to take out the next tower at the same time. Our missiles, very strong. Towers, also very strong. <laughs> so be it. We will move forward. We will not show fear. We must always press on and attack. All right, bridge constructed. Let's build Lee's out further. Oh my gosh, there's one of their super towers directly in front of me there. That's a little horrifying. I'm shocked I'm actually not in range, to be honest. Power's not looking super good. Mm, okay. About to get this over here. Awesome. Or these towers as well would be great. And let's drag the enemy over to us. Put that on high. That should attack that tower. Awesome. <laughs> okay, maybe bit off more than I could chew. One more of those, please. Oh, you know those drones that I really don't like? Uh, guess what? We need you back. Oh gosh, we lost a tower. Actually, can all things considered, not too bad. Both pieces are under attack. We're looking fine. Missiles firing out at the hordes of the enemies. And we're out of range for most of their towers and defenses. Oh God, wait, we're not. Oh, that's just firing at my little drone ships. That's fine, who cares about that? Everything else though? Uh, it's not looking good. Maybe another tower? Oh, let's maybe rebuild that immediately. Thank you. Are we, do we have missiles on us? Oh wait, what? I put them in the box. Whoops. I could use some missiles, please. Thank you. All right, we are the missile turret now. And we're taking out that tower slowly but surely. Uh, can we have this target a different tower? Is that like a thing? I don't know. Looks like we're able to move forward though. That's a, oh sh We got hit, we got hit bad. My health, my turrets. Egad, uh, you, no more shooting the upper air. Stop, we're kind of being attacked a lot. Please shoot that tower over there. That tower is our, pretty much our only enemy. Fires the missiles ourselves. No, it looks at me. Stop. Don't look at me. Yeah, that pretty much took us out in almost two shots. And are we not done with this? Like, come on. Take the tower out, please. We've been fighting for so long. Wait a second. Oh, what? It's fine. Redeploy. Yes. Wait, where do we redeploy? Oh, sh we're back at base? My inventory. Is the battle still raging on? It is. Okay, uh, let's head over to here. Uh, is that tower not destroyed yet? Oh my goodness, it's like two health. End it, please. Woo. First relay station destroyed. We're making progress here. It looks like the planetary base is still active and spawning units, so we gotta get there pretty quick. Because the battle is still raging. Oh my God, the carnage. Now that tower, it's fine. The planetary base is no biggie. Wait, our power is like gone though. Uh oh, that is a biggie. Uh, can we like collect all of our stuff back? Thank you. And this is terrible actually. We have no uh, energy in our our mech. We can't do anything. We just have to still sit here. Can we at least build some turrets over this way? Looks like it. Relieve a little bit of pressure from our front line over this way. And actually, you know what? Let's do the supernova thing. I think that makes the turret go absolutely crazy. <laughs> it shot like once. There's just no enemies around. I don't know where to attack first. Finish this one off. Push forward to the more difficult one. I feel like the more difficult one. Yeah, let's do that. And let's push some of these turrets forward. It looks like this tower is slowing down quite a lot. Maybe it'll actually run out of energy too. 
It's just we need to be able to build this belt forward with the ammunition or else we can't really do nothing. Oh, but that, I think that tower is dead. Like it doesn't have any more power. Okay, okay. Oh, the first turret's down, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kibbs is gonna be a little cheap here. Uh, let's forget about that over there for now. Uh, let's focus all the missiles on this tower. Uh, let's set another tower a little bit forward. And I can attack everything down here. And we use the cheap ammunition to deal with the little guys. Very good. And that thing repped all the way back up, brother. Really? Gosh, okay. Uh, we're just gonna hang out here. Let's build some wind turbines around us. We, we can't move forward because our health is just so terribly low. Uh, can we actually stop attacking as well? What does this do? Stop attacking? Please, I'm just trying to recharge. Are you gonna really force me to back up? Fine, I'll back up. Still looks like it's getting power. Oh, but wait, you can see the base here is actually losing energy. Yeah, it has 2.5 gigajoules, but it's losing 5.4 megawatts like every second or whatever. So we can just wait that one out and it'll die. And once these turrets are offline, then we're fine. So yeah, this is the main concern. Oh wait, no, Dark Fog Swarm is launching assault? Is that... <laughs> Brother, that's been going on for like years. Oh no, it's the space hives. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I was not really planning on a space fleet attacking us right now. Where is that? Yeah, it's like seven meters away or seven light years away or whatever. That's not bad. We have time then. We can probably take out this tower first. Let's see here. Where's the fleet? All right, so that's the, <laughs> oh gosh. The space fleet en route to destroy us will be Fine. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, wait. A second? Okay, that might be a problem. So there's the one that's gonna arrive first, and then there's the one way out there. And this tower is only at half health. Okay, uh, let's get rid of that. Thank you. Maybe we hurry up with uh, a couple more missile turrets. That would be great. Blast it all away. Do they even have turrets left here? Doesn't look like it. Nope, they do. I lost, like, all my health. Uh, maybe we pay attention to these fleets, though. Is that one there? That is absolutely one there, and there's the rest of the hive. But no, we have a fleet attacking right now. Hello, neighbors. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, I'm liberating my planet. You see, I wrote my own laws, and you are violating my own laws. <laughs> Can we attack? Oh! <laughs> and this is why I don't violate my own planetary laws. You see, I got lots of missiles. And, uh, oh gosh. Uh, yeah. Seem to do a lot of damage, too, though. And the second fleet's here. Oh my god, my main base! My storage hub! We're getting wiped out! Uh-oh. Have we destroyed any of their, uh, ships yet? No. And the second fleet's attacking now? Where are all the missiles? They destroyed- wait. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. How's this looking? Fine? Wait, no, it's not looking fine. This is out of missiles. We have 100 missiles here. It's kind of the end of the world. But it's not entirely the end of the world. Can we just get rid of all this stuff here? Please, and thank you. I don't want to look at the rest of the planet right now. Just build these up. The lasers are coming towards me. Uh oh, we don't have any power. How do we not have power? This didn't connect probably. Well, that's under attack. It looks like we destroyed five vessels. That's pretty freaking good, brother. It looks like our entire base here is being absolutely obliterated. How many ships are left? It's all of them. What are they firing at? Looks like they're haphazardly firing at everything. Destroying my entire main base. It's completely destroyed. But this is almost destroyed. And that's not out of power. Okay, we are not making progress here. Uh, maybe we fix our main base. Uh, can we have you target the space fleet that's attacking us? I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my god, their, sh their ships are huge. Oh my god. Well, that's, that's absolutely horrifying. That is absolutely horrifying. Horrifying? Oh my god. Um, well, I think we might be a little screwed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we have more missiles back at base, though. And the tower there is almost dead. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> it looks like we have a bit of a bigger problem, though. Uh, how's the power looking for our entire base? We're still up on power. Oh, we were up on power. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, what's going on here? Nothing. Just utter destruction. Leave me alone. Where's my missiles? Aha! Plenty of them. Oh my god. Still four vessels? Oh my god. They're I cannot believe this. Everything's being destroyed. I don't even know if this is recoverable, guys. I'm gonna be honest. This is um total and utter devastation. It looks like they switched up their firing mode, though. We still have weapons. We're still hitting back. 
And hey, it looks like these guys are abandoning ship. Oh, because their uh, planetary base is gone. Heck yeah, bud. It's a shame that um, ours is as well. Uh, we'll build this here. We'll add a belt there. And whatever missiles we have left, we'll fire at them. Is that the shadow of their battleships? Yep. It's okay. We have one turret remaining. Get them! Uh, do we have any more turrets in our inventory? We do. We do. We do. We do. Uh, okay. All right. Do one more pass. I dare you. Witness me. All right. Here they come again. But now we have missile turrets out the wazoo. Supernova time. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Oh, yeah. We actually got one. We're going to get two. I think they're running away. Oh, but does he escape? Oh, you lucky little bugger. I think they escaped with barely any health. That's right. You run. Freaking scaredy cats. <laughs> well, that's a victory, but at what cost? Everything is destroyed. It will take years for our bots to rebuild here. Are there any missiles like anywhere? Like just on a broken belt or something? Oh, yes. Wait a second. Oh, tons of missiles in there. Good, because the battle is not over yet. We're taking our planet back, brother. It's happening right here, right now. Why aren't you firing? No power? Okay, I can fix that. There we go. And you can start attacking that tower up there as well. Thank you. Let's end that immediately. You guys, redestroy the planetary base. And let's finish off the remains over this way. Although the battle was rough and we lost practically everything, our first planet has been liberated. Well, what's left of it anyway. So I will probably end up just restarting this again. And next time, we don't argue the space hives. But regardless, that was a ton of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, remember to subscribe for more. But for now, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye-bye.